二零二二年第十五、第十六條咧，都係有關於人類嘅呼吸系統嘅。咁我哋睇翻下面呢一幅圖啦，就係、是、顯示咗人類呼吸管道嘅末端啦，同埋相關嘅血管。嗱，咁我睇翻幅圖啦，兩條都成日提大家噶啦，有翻結構咧，俾翻個名佢先。P 咧就係小支氣管啦 ，Q 咧就係肺靜脈。R 咧就係微血管 ，S 咧就係肺動脈嘅。咁當然啦，題目咧都有講到啦，啲血嘅流動啦。咁啊 ，S 就係由心臟嚟嘅，所以就係肺動脈啦。Q 咧就係翻去心臟嘅，所以就係肺靜脈啦。咁題目咧就問我哋啦 ，P、Q、R、S 邊一個結構底下咧，佢哋係有最高濃度嘅二氧化碳嘅？咁呢個題目啦，第一就係考下我哋啦，究竟 PQRS 係乜嘢啦？嗱，搞掂咗啦。第二啦，你就要係明白到啦，究竟喺唔同結構當中，佢哋嗰個氣體嘅成分啦。嗱，今次咧就問二氧化碳啫，下次問氧氣得唔得啦？梗係可以啦。咁其實要做呢個題目咧都唔難嘅。咁過往啊，我都拍咗段片咧，去解構翻點樣讀擺我嘅。咁亦都正正就係用翻循環系統咧作為一個例子啦，肺動脈啊、肺靜脈啊、大動脈啊、大靜脈啊，咁究竟啦呢啲唔同類型嘅血管，佢哋入面運送嘅係乜嘢成分嘅血液咧？同埋啦，佢哋嘅血壓高定係低咧？咁而家啦，睇翻答案咧，做一擊破咯喎。P 咧，佢就講啦，小支氣管就有最高濃度嘅二氧化碳，就係、是、錯嘅。咁啊，因為啦，小支氣管當中咧，其實啦，咦，佢係咪有最高濃度二氧化碳啦？喂，似係喎，兩 s 當中咧，二氧化碳其實有四 percent 嘅喎。但係你要明白到啦，喺呢一個部分，小支氣管進出嘅氣咧，除咗呼嘅氣，仲有吸嘅氣。咁即係其實到頭來咧，係兩款氣混合咗嘅。咁既然混合咗嘅話啦，咁你又點樣知得到究竟佢係有最高濃度定係最低濃度嘅二氧化碳呢？所以 P 呢就係錯嘅。跟住啦，就去到 Q 咯喎，就係、是、最強干擾嘅答案啦。因為呢，最多同學呢就揀咗呢個答案啦。咁佢就話呢，肺靜脈就有最多嘅二氧化碳，我都係錯。咁啊，因為啦，肺靜脈呢入面含有住嘅就係含氧血啦。咁既然係含氧血啦，自不然呢，就喺個血液當中就較為高嘅氧氣濃度啦。同埋啦，較為低嘅二氧化碳濃度啦。咁題目我唔係問你最高啊嘛，咁所以啦就一定唔會係佢啦。咁我相信咧，點解大家會揀 Q 呢？其實咧都係同 S 咧就大家兩者撈亂嘅啫。咁點解佢係一個最強嘅干擾答案呢？咁我相信咧，其實佢哋係同呢個肺動脈咧係撈亂咗嘅。咁係因為咧。動脈啊嘛，大家會覺得啦，佢應該運送嘅咧係含氧血，咁自不然啦，二氧化碳嘅濃度咧就較為低啦。咁作為靜脈啦，倒翻轉就係一個缺氧血，咁自不然咧就係多啲嘅二氧化碳。不過喺個肺部嘅動脈同埋靜脈咧，佢哋嘅邏輯係剛剛相反嘅。咁所以啦，當我哋理解血管當中嘅血液流動嘅時候咧，其實一定要理解咗個方向。再理解下各自器官嘅功能啦，咁啊想去温翻書嘅咧，快快手睇翻段片啦，段片咧我會擺翻喺留言區嘅，咁所以啦 ，S 咧先係真正嘅答案嘅，因為啦肺動脈咧就含有缺氧血，咁所謂缺氧血咧就係、是、含有啦較為低濃度嘅氧氣啦，同埋較為高濃度嘅二氧化碳啦，咁點解今次我哋？知道佢係最高呢，咁啊因為啦，佢運送嚟嘅二氧化碳就係高濃度，去到 A S Z 呢個肺泡嘅位置呢，先會做得到呢個氣體交換有一個濃度階梯出現㗎嘛，係咪？咁當然啊，你就會問啦，咦，點解最後尾嘅答案就會係 S 肺動脈而唔係微血管呢？你話噶嘛？喺個肺動脈嚟嘅血，咁啊二氧化碳濃度最高。咁其實粒之後楞住嘅咪又係微血管，微血管啊，嗰度都係講緊踢走啲二氧化碳噶嘛。咁佢唔係應該最高濃度咩？正正就係你呢個邏輯啦。因為喺微血管就係進行緊氣體交換，啲二氧化碳係離開緊個微血管，去到個氣泡，然後就俾我哋呼走咗去噶嘛。咁所以嚟到呢一部分咧，大家要。有少少動態思維啦，就係、是、當啲血咧由呢個肺動脈真係去到呢個微血管嘅時候啦，其實啲二氧化碳已經係離開緊個血管啦，咁所以佢亦都唔會係一個最高濃度嘅二氧化碳啦。即 question fifteen and sixteen is related to the gases exchange of human. So this diagram it shows the end of the respiratory tract and the associated blood vessels in human. So you can see the diagram as the good practice once we see the Structures P Q R S. We have to give the name first. Do the labeling first. P is the bronchioli. Q is the pulmonary vein. 
R is the network of the capillaries and S is the pulmonary artery. So let's take a look at the question. Which labeled part has the highest concentration of carbon dioxide? So you see that? Once we have the labeling, we can find out the answer easily. Because for the whole question, for the first thing we need to do is to identify the structures and then realize the gas contents in different parts shown in the diagram. So previously, I made a video for the comparison of artery and vein, and I used this video to present that how could we study biology well. And after watching the video, you will be able to distinguish the pulmonary artery, vein, aorta, and the vena cava based on the blood pressure and the gas content. So let's take a look at the answer. And option A, which is the Bongioli, is wrong answer. So you may think that, oh, Mr. Leung, in the Bongioli, there's the exhaled air going out of the lungs. And in the exhaled air, it contains 4% of carbon dioxide. So it should be the highest concentration of carbon dioxide, right? Not really. Because in the Bongioli, it also contains the inhaled air. And for the inhaled air, the concentration of the carbon dioxide is just 0.03%. So there will be a mixing of the inhaled and exhaled air. So how can you say that it contains the highest concentration of carbon dioxide? You cannot say so because there will be a mixing effect of the air. And the option B is also wrong, which is the pulmonary vein. Because for the pulmonary vein, it contains the oxygenated blood. And in the oxygenated blood, it contains higher concentration of oxygen and lower carbon dioxide concentration. Why? It is a powerful distractor. Because I think that some of the students, they misunderstand the pulmonary vein and the pulmonary artery. They may think that, oh, I know it, for all artery, Mr. Leung, for all vein. They may think that all the artery, I know it, Mr. Leung, they should contain the oxygenated blood. So for the oxygenated blood, it carries higher concentration of oxygen and lower concentration of carbon dioxide. And for vein, it contains the deoxygenated blood. So with the lowest concentration of oxygen and highest concentration of carbon dioxide. However, lungs is a special organ for the gases exchange. Logic of the artery and the vein will be the opposite idea. Therefore, option D, the pulmonary artery, is the correct answer. For the pulmonary artery, it contains the deoxygenated blood from the heart. It contains the lowest concentration of oxygen and the highest concentration of carbon dioxide. It makes option D is the answer. And what about the option C for the capillaries? You may think that, oh, I know it, Mr. Leung, like you say that for the pulmonary artery, it contains the deoxygenated blood. And then the deoxygenated blood, they will also reach the capillaries, right? So for the capillaries, that's the place for the gas exchange to take place between the air in the air set and the blood in the capillaries. So why is so why option C not the answer? The idea is that you get the concept of the gas exchange. So in the network of the capillary, you should have the a bit interaction mind. It means that when the blood vessel carry the blood to the capillary, and once they reach the capillary, gas exchange takes place already. And the carbon dioxide in the blood, they will diffuse to the air sac. Therefore, the concentration of the carbon dioxide is already decreasing, it's lowered. Therefore, for the option C, it's also the wrong answer.